Hi everyone and welcome back to Mad About CNC. Well, I thought I'd do another video on this retrofit I've done. Um, just explain a little bit about it. I use the Masso controller, which I'm really happy with. Um, Masso support's been great. So if, if you look down here, you can see there is the Masso. Um, I'm running it on 24 volts. So I'm using 24 volts for all my logic. Um, mainly because a lot of the, the other things like my air cylinders and my pneumatics and that, they're all 24 volt. A lot of industrial machines use 24 volt rather than 12 volt. So that's why I've gone with 24 volt. Masso is quite happy with 24 volt. Um, there's a bit of stuff missing out of here. I suppose you're wondering where are my drives? They're not here. The drives aren't in here. I've actually used hybrid stepper motors, um, 12 Newton meter ones, and I had an issue with the length of cable that came with the motors. It was only about three meters long, or could have even been shorter. Um, so I had to figure out a way of, of either lengthening the cables or somehow reducing the amount of cable I needed. So if we go around the side here and have a look around the side here, you can see there's my, there's the Z-axis motor. Y-axis motor is sitting in, in here, inside here. It's exactly the same motor. And down in here, sitting inside there, hidden away, is the X-axis motor. But what I did with the drives is I've hidden them around the back and I've mounted them on the gantry. So if you come around here, you can see a box. That box mounted on the gantry here with three little windows, clear windows, so I can see the green and red lights if the drives, drives have an alarm state. Um, if you actually, cameraman brings a camera right over, you'll see the little green light, the little green dot, and saying it's all good. So there's the three drives are in there, which meant that I could get away with using the actual cables that came with it. I didn't have to lengthen them. So everything fitted really well. Um, what what we replaced was all the um, data cabling, all the air tubes, um, the uh, motor cables for the power for the motors. Um, as you can see here, that's the standard. That was the standard cabling that came with the motor. Um, it wasn't a huge job, um, but it it needed it. Um, the controller, as I said, the controller originally had a PC inside here, the old controller, which was a Centroid controller. Um, nothing wrong with Centroid, they're great controllers. A um, little bit exy now, to, and they don't have the uh, amount of I.O. that the Masso has. So all that's left in here, this box is actually hollow now. <laughs> There's nothing in there. I use the original LCD screen. This panel here, which is only a temporary panel I made up because I didn't know what buttons I was going to need, so that'll end up getting replaced with something a little bit nicer. As I said, I would like, I would like to reuse that panel. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. If I can get that panel to work, I'll, I'll, I'll reuse it. If I can't, well, then I'll just redesign my own panel. Um, brought the USB up here. Um, this keyboard actually has a USB hub built into it and my mouse is actually plugged into there. So on the screen here is, is a nested program that I did with VCarve Pro. It's actually the, the customer, my client who's, who's purchased this machine requested some programs written. This is one of them. Um, he makes cable drums. So if you look down here, that's what he's that's what he's cutting, and if you look at the screen, you'll probably, maybe you can recognise that they that's what they are. But instead of cutting one at a time, which he was doing on his old machine, he's now going to be able to cut eight at a time. Throw a whole sheet on there, cut eight, take it off. I think it's going to save him that whole process. Those whole eight take just under 11 minutes, whereas when he was doing them individually, they were taking, uh, I think he said they were three minutes three minutes each by the time he changed, load, unload. Um, so it's a fair bit quicker um, and it's time saving for him. So again, the post processor for VCarve Pro, I've written that myself. So if anyone's interested, contact me. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much else I can tell you about the machine. Um, I've got a, quite a large IO board in there. It's a 16 IO output IO board. Um, 
I'm only using four. So this is the I.O. board down here. And unfortunately, I couldn't get a 24-volt one. So that's a 12-volt, which, which means I had to have a 12-volt power supply. I couldn't use a 24-volt. I am going to get a 24-volt one from, from China. I can get them over there, but at the moment, I just didn't have one. So uh, I don't think there's much more I can tell you about it. Um, as you can see up here, these couple of blue things here, I 3D printed those couple of parts. I had to modify a couple of shafts on the motors and the pulleys to make everything fit because they weren't the same as the original motor, which is, which is one of these over here. I mean, that's an original, one of the original motors. Uh, an old uh, brushed DC servo motor. Um, still works, but nothing talks to them anymore. Well, maybe they do, I don't know. But who'd want to? <laughs> Anyhow, um, the uh, hybrid the uh, hybrid stepper motors are much more reliable, very strong, very powerful, the 12 newton metre ones. Probably too powerful for what I want. Uh, I believe those original motors that were on it were only about 4 newton metre in, in uh, capacity. So um, I've probably gone over the top, but I want to give the machine a long working life. Oh, by the way, if there's anyone out there that's uh, got an old machine that's coming to the end of its life, and uh, you don't want to spend 80 to 100 or 120 thousand dollars on a new machine, but you still really need one. I'd be quite happy to you know, talk to you about retrofitting it, bringing it back to life, bringing it up to date so it's running all the latest software, using a nice new Masso controller. Um, I'm local here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, and I'm willing to help. At a cost, of course, but it'll be a lot cheaper than buying a new machine. Um, so if you're interested, just leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. See you later.